Hey YouTube, uh, it's been a little while since I did a video. I'm hoping to do a couple uh, here soon. Just uh, revisiting some old videos as far as like uh, magazine stockpiles and storage and stuff like that. And, uh, some different things I'm kind of do, trying to do with that and uh, where I'm at. And uh, hopefully doing some more like discussion. Yes, videos almost podcasty. Um, Kind of like what I used to do like this, or just recording in the car um, as I'm going, you know, about my day. So, but this, you know, it's kind of just the channel update, and um, just kind of talking about random stuff right now. Uh, one of the things I wanted to mention is uh, in a couple of my videos and in my uh, the description section, I guess, of uh, the channel. Uh, I forget what it's called. I have a affiliate link for uh, Burrell. I believe it's how you say it. It's a uh, you know tactical supply website, stuff like that. They got ammo and weapon lights and things like that. And uh, I, I checked them out a couple times before because uh, a couple of the YouTubers I follow had uh, links for them. And uh, thought they had a good website, but <clears throat> never really saw anything that was. Uh, super intriguing to me or uh, a deal that I was really interested in until uh, so a couple weeks ago they had a uh, nightstick weapon light on sale uh, which actually it's still on sale last I checked uh, last night for $50 it's 112 lumens and I was like oh $50 you know and that's worth checking out because I wanted to look into the night uh, nightstick lights anyways and kind of see what they were about and if they were worth anything so I picked that up uh, probably won't do an actual review on it just because it's on one of my backup guns that doesn't get shot or used a whole lot. Um, so I'm not really looking to put the time into it right now uh, to get a good opinion. However, I was pleased with it and it does fit in uh, my TLR1 holsters so I didn't have to get any new holsters or anything to use it. So I might be picking another one of those up and if I do that, I'll probably mount that to a gun that I shoot more and um, work on putting together a review like that. Um, one second, floor traffic. Uh, but yeah, I was on their website the other day and they had some ammo on sale. Uh, everything on their website right now, I don't know, from what I'm seeing, it doesn't look like it's a promotion, but everything ships free. Uh, so there's some actually really good deals. If I had some extra money, I definitely would be buying. Uh, there's one that's really interesting. It's not not anything I really would buy for myself <clears throat> because it's a handgun, and for handguns, I'm very invested in the US with the Western ecosystem uh, as far as carrying MPs and all my guys carry MPs, uh, except for one. That's just because he hasn't had the money to get one yet, and I want to share mags and all that kind of stuff. And if you watch some of my other videos, that's, that's a big part of how I like to set things up and working with the crew, if, if you're going to work with a group of individuals, then it really is beneficial to have some standards. Uh, so you can share mags, share ammo, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, I'm going to have some guns that are outside of that. Uh, but as a standard, those are my primaries. Everything else is tertiary, secondary, backup. And because I'm, I'm a gun guy as well, I like to collect guns. Uh, so not everything is for end of the world SHTF situation. Some of it's just because I think it's dope, so I got it. Um, don't have a whole lot of stuff like that right now just because I don't have the funds to be spending on things that don't fill roles at the moment. Uh, but when I do, that's something we're looking at. But back to what I was talking about, they've got a uh, Steyr pistol, excuse me, <clears throat> nine millimeter with a uh, three or four bags, uh, like a holster or a pistol case, I think it's a pistol case, and one of those nightstick weapon lights I was talking about for like five something, and uh, that's not a bad deal at all. Uh, I've done a little bit of looking into that Steyr pistol, and it seems to be a good gun, so if you're looking for your first handgun or something like that, it's not a bad option. Uh, I can hear myself saying, uh, good lord. Anyways, yeah, so just something to keep an eye out, and if y'all do want to support the channel so I can create some more videos, 
Um, that is right now the only way to do so is using that affiliate link. Um, if you're familiar with them, all it does is I get a kickback from whatever you buy, uh, but it doesn't cost you any extra. It's just for basically they pay me for referring you to their website. And I, I am trying to do more videos, but a lot of the videos I want to do, I, I to be quite honest, I don't have the finances to do them. Uh, because I want to do some more uh, longevity testing and stuff with uh, some of the firearms I have. To do that, I got to be able to buy ammo, and I just don't have the money to buy uh, the amount of ammo that I need, uh, or pay for the range fees to shoot, or stuff like that. Ranges that I want to go to that would let me actually do some of the drills and some videos like that, just kind of showing what someone who has been in this industry for a long time but is still very much so a lay person and uh, doesn't have a lot of the background of training, uh, formal training that others do. It is doing for training. The, those ranges are a little bit further away, so you know, paying for the gas and all that, it, it's just hard right now. So I, I don't have any videos like that up yet. Uh, and to do those really well, I need to get one of my buddies to go out there with me to record and so it's been scheduling stuff uh, but yeah so just letting y'all know I haven't got anywhere I do plan on doing some more videos if there's stuff y'all would like me to discuss I would appreciate y'all just doing that in the comment section just so like there's times I want to record videos but I'm not sure what to talk about <clears throat> and anybody who's ever met me in person can tell you I got an opinion about everything so Picking sometimes one topic can be a little bit difficult for me, especially if I'm not like feeling passionate about that topic right now. Uh, but you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video. I'm gonna do another one uh, that'll go up before or after. So appreciate y'all tuning in. I'll see y'all in a bit. Peace.